So what we're talking about is the effect on the brain. And here it is again. This is a top view, front view of the brain. And this is a subject sitting relaxed with the eyes closed. And these little dots indicate where the electrodes are placed to measure the or ordinary EEG to look at the electrical activity of the brain. And occasionally you'll find these little bars that connect neighboring points. Not very often. But what that means is these neighboring points of the brain are talking to each other. They're communicating. There's a correlated or integrated functioning of the brain, at least among a few neighboring points, but not much. Really, this hemisphere doesn't know what this hemisphere is doing. But this is the same subject three months later in the meditative state. And what you see is something you will never see if you're a brain scientist in any other state of consciousness, hypnosis, sleeping, waking, dreaming. The whole brain functions coherently. And that's an extremely significant finding. It's interesting, but beyond that, significant. Because EEG coherence is powerfully correlated with intelligence and rising intelligence, creativity, learning ability, memory, academic performance, moral reasoning, psychological stability, emotional maturity, alertness, reaction time. Everything good about the brain depends on its orderly functioning. And what's fun as an educator, exciting as an educator, is that you can systematically develop the orderly functioning of the brain among anyone of any age. And you'll actually start to see in anyone of any age intelligence, for example, IQ, increasing. Now, that's not supposed to happen beyond adolescence. Intelligence is not supposed to rise. In fact, by the time you're, say, mid-30s, you expect to see a precipitous drop in intelligence and a shrinking of the gray. I know we tell our kids, you should listen to me anyway, despite my loss of raw intelligence, because of the <laughs> wisdom and the life experience. But it's an obsolete view of human potential. And the thing about the brain is, and these are other measures of intelligence. IQ is just one, but there's so many ways to measure the creativity and intelligence of the brain. And they're all highly statistically significantly improved by transcending by developing and engaging the total brain. In the absence of this experience, you see too much of this. This is a stressed brain. You don't have to look hard or far to find them. You see what are called functional holes, not actual holes, but functional holes in the prefrontal cortex, the so-called higher brain. That's important. This is the higher brain. It separates us from the primitive species. It's it's called the CEO or executive center. It sits over the primitive brain. It exerts executive control. It's responsible for higher human functions, judgment, planning, moral reasoning, control of the attention. And what we have in the presence of stress is the prefrontal cortex shuts down. And under chronic stress, it shuts down chronically, and it fails to develop properly. And we really are living to a good degree in a underdeveloped world, a world of arrested development. And if you really you know, question that, just look around you. Look at a reality TV show. Look what's happening you know, in the news. But even those functional holes in the brain are quickly filled in as the entire brain is engaged and as blood flow returns to the total brain. And you see things like in maximum security prisons where the stress brains are ubiquitous, a marked reduction in the rate of return to prison. In children with ADHD, which is a stress-related learning disorder, has to do with this underdevelopment of the prefrontal cortex that controls the attention, a profound reversal of ADHD, elimination of symptoms, in 10, 12 weeks of twice daily meditation. It's a powerful tool. Because of that, finally, we're starting to see an impact on society, where schools, about 350 of them anyway, and hundreds of thousands of students, have incorporated transcending, or TM, into the curriculum. And that's the beginning of something really exciting. And it's really happening here. It started in the Bay Area, and it's spreading throughout the world.